Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. I do appreciate you being here. You should go ahead and hit subscribe and the notification bell before you realise how fucking garbage this content is. And if this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back, you absolute fucking degenerate. But in either case, thank you very much for being here. I do appreciate you joining me for today's content. For today's video, we're going to talk about Sue Ship. That's right, out in the OCG we have seen drop that there is an archetype called Sue Ship coming out. Literally ships made of sushi. Now lots of people are very excited about this, not because it's good, but because it's kind of funny. And who in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community doesn't love a bit of a meme deck? So in today's video I'm going to go ahead and take a look at those cards and have a bit of a wonder about what they actually do, whether it's going to be any good and whether it's worth picking up when it does come out. And the answer is yes, just on the fact that it's a bunch of ships made of sushi. Now before we continue, if you are feeling inspired and you'd like to pick up some Yu-Gi-Oh! or even Pokemon singles on the cheat, you should check out the channel sponsors Jam Jam Cards UK. There is a link in the description to their eBay store and you'll net yourself a cheeky discount courtesy of yours truly. But anyway, enough waffling on from me, let's get stuck into the cards. So you may see me looking down here, that's because my monitor is here, and I'm going to be reading the cards exactly as the translations read. It is worth noting that because they are translations, we don't have the exact names, so this may change when they get printed here, but it should give us an idea of exactly what we're looking at. So the first card we're looking at is Rice Sioux Ship, a level 4 vanilla with 2,000 attack and 0 defense. I'd like to note that the flavour text on this is absolutely massive, so don't be surprised if we end up with something to the effect of check this out instead. So I'm going to read it for you from here exactly as it reads. It's fucking long. In a certain sous ship port in which I've been interested for a while, there is a rice sous ship of which only 2,000 vessels a year are produced with a self-developed old rice that is not too sticky and with a profound taste cannot be enjoyed in any other ports, which many critics have heavily acclaimed. The interior of the harbour is of a high status, making one's heart beat with excitement. As for the sought after sous ship, despite the vinegar concentration grasping technique, the modelling worthy of a craftsman, there was still something that wasn't quite right, wasn't quite there. Thus the store owner speaks, a red vinegar made of Edo front that will add a mellow and rich fragrance will be arriving to the port in the upcoming days, and from hearing that I'm looking forward to this addition. It is unfortunate the surrounding sea area was somewhat noisy, it is with great expectation of a future visit that I'm grading it with 4 stars. So as you can see from the flavour text, they're definitely just pointing out all the attributes of the card and doing some sort of weird cuisine thing going on. We then move on to the partner in crime, Row Suship. So this one actually has an effect and therefore probably somewhat playable. If you control Rice Suship, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Row Suship once per turn this way. During your main phase, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck, and if you do, add to your hand or special summon one excavated Rice Suship. Also shuffle the rest back into your deck. You can only use this effect of Row Suship once per turn. You can already see exactly what's going to happen here. This is for rank 4 spam, which really I should be a much bigger fan of considering I absolutely fucking love doing exactly this in Light Sworn. We then move on to our field spell because these are just mandatory for every archetype now, and usually they have to be absolutely busted. On the other hand, this one is fine. So this one is called Suship Galley Kaizen. Once per turn, if you normal or special summon a Suship monster or monsters, even during the damage step, you can place one Suship card from your deck on top of your deck. Once per turn, if your Sushit monster or monsters are special summoned from the extra deck, are sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, your opponent must pay life points equal to that monster's defense, and then you can special summon one Rise Sushit from your hand, and if you do, special summon from your extra deck one Sushit Exceed monster by using that monster as material. That is treated as an Exceed summon. So for the purposes of what the cards actually do, this is absolutely fine, but honestly I really don't see much of this fitting into any other deck. So unless you see more and more support, this is kind of going to be pointless. We then have our only trap card revealed so far, Sushi Ship Roll Specials. When you activate this card, you can also reveal one Rice Sushi Ship in your hand. Reveal three Sushi Ship monsters from your deck. Your opponent chooses one to add to your hand, and then you shuffle the rest into the deck. However, if you revealed a Rice Sushi Ship when you activate this card, you can choose the monster to add to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card, then target three Sushi Ship monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, and then draw one card. And then the final card, the reason that we're all here, the fucking destroyer itself. Dreadnought Suship, Row Class First Wardish. 
So this just requires two level four monsters, so technically can be played in absolutely anything you like. Once per turn, when your sushi monster special summon from the extra deck inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can destroy a card they control. That's a target in effect. In with Tech Seed Summon, you can apply these effects based on the monsters used as the material. You can only use this effect of this card once per turn. I'm not reading that fucking name again. So if you have Rice Sushi Ship, it's draw one card, or if you have Rose Sushi Ship, it can make a second attack during the battle phase. And that, in summary, is all of the cards that we've seen revealed so far. These are due to come out in Dawn of Majesty, which has got plenty of other cool stuff coming out there. Cards that we've already covered. Uh, Gizmet cards are coming out in that set. As well as the release of Magic Key cards, which is likely to be quite a cool archetype to play. But that rounds us off for today's video. Hopefully, by virtue of the fact that you made it this far, you've enjoyed it enough to have hit subscribe and the notification bell, or at least fucking hate it enough that you couldn't possibly look away. If you weren't aware already, there is a giveaway currently going on on the channel, so at the time of recording, the time is running out, it's worth noting. I'll put a link on the screen. You can get yourself in with a chance to win a set of Freezing Chain Structure Decks. Go ahead and check out our video for more information on how you can win. But anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.